Hey War Gamers, and welcome to the Epic Hobby. Today I'm going to be painting a Britannian Highlander for Tor Gaming's Relics. This is a pretty sweet little model, and even if you don't play Relics or don't intend to, this can work great as a Golem in a Frostgrave Warband, or there's a lot of other uses for this kind of miniature. It kind of reminds me of the uh, Living Dolls from the movie 9, and just really has that kind of motif to it. I started off by priming the entire model black and then mostly white, just to get a little bit of Zenithal priming from above. And here I'm base coating his shirt using P3 Coal Black. Next I'm base coating the sash he wears over his shoulder using Vallejo Gory Red. Effectively what I'm doing is painting sort of from the inside out. I'm starting with the hardest to reach areas first and then working out towards the easier parts to reach. Because of that I start with his shirt first because it has a lot of deep areas and undercuts that just might be hard to get to without getting paint on other details. And the sash kind of has the same aspect, especially up near his shoulder and where his hand sort of overlaps it here. And while it's not hard to reach, I'm also painting the palm on the top of his hat with the red, just because I want it to be the same color. And because it's such an easy detail to reach, I'm not worried about it being in the way of something else later. Now I'm going to base coat the puppet itself with Vallejo Earth. By the puppet itself, I mean the areas that on a human would be skin, so it's face, it's hands. I'm also going to use this color to base coat his legs and a few little bits of rope hanging off the button in the middle of the model. Now I'm going to use Vallejo Stormy Blue for his kilt and hat. This color is a little bit on the translucent side and it doesn't give me perfect coverage, but I'm going to be highlighting this later with some more shades of blue and then also painting a tartan pattern sort of over top of it. So I'm not really concerned that it's not going to be perfect coverage because it's going to be completely hidden by the time I'm done everything else. Now I'm going to use some Vallejo Dark Flesh Tone for the buttons on the model. So that's his eyes, two on his chest, and the large button basically where his belt buckle would be. I actually missed the buttons on his chest right now and circle back to get them later. I'm also going to use this color to paint the wooden aspects of the shield. On this particular model, there's not a lot of them because he's basically wearing it right across his back. So just a little bit around each side. Next up, I'm going to grab some Parasite Brown, which is a very orangey brown. And I'm using this as a base coat for his beard and hair. Ultimately, I want those to be a very fiery kind of red color. And this makes a really good base coat for that kind of effect. Like the blue before, this color doesn't go on very opaquely. There's a little bit of translucency to it. You can see a little bit of the base coat through it. However, because with the hair, I'm going to be applying much lighter colors. I am applying a second coat here to make sure I get full coverage. Now I'm going to use P3 Radiant Platinum as the base coat for the sword and shield.
There's a few aspects on the clothing I want to paint white. I'm going to base coat them with Stonewall Gray first. Namely, that's going to be the cuffs on his uh, left and right sleeve and the brim of the hat here, as well as a little bit at the very top of his kilt. Alright, with the base coats all done, I'm going to coat the entire model with an Agrax or Shade Wash. I'm going to be using a large flat brush for this, one I've kind of already beaten the tar out of, where I'm not really worried about the bristles getting all bent up by being pushed into corners. While I'm applying this wash, I'm also looking to make sure it's not pooling up too thickly in certain areas. You'll occasionally see me sort of dab it away with the brush, and that's to make sure there's not a large pool that can dry in a bit of a clump and kind of ruin the shape of the model. And that's it for today while I wait for this to dry. In the next video, I'm going to go ahead and start detailing this model and adding plaid to his kilt and hat. Until next time, do something epic.